Hello friends, in today's video we are going to solve problems on two-way ANOVA. Let us go into the problems. So the other name of two-way ANOVA is randomized block design. Okay, you can remember RBD. Okay, for one-way ANOVA, completely randomized design, CRD. This is one-way and for two-way ANOVA, we say it as randomized block design. So let us remember or recall the notations all the notations are almost given in one by anova c represents column here when we use r r represent row n is total number of experimental unit grand total t square by n is going to be correction factor sst total sum of squares ssc sum of square between columns if we say r it is rows and error procedure as usual h naught is going to be no significant difference between column means here since we are going for two way ANOVA we are going to analyze two sides okay both the columns and rows so what we write there is no significant difference between column means as well as row means h1 is going to be just opposite now the step 3 alpha I am going to take 5% or 1% according to the questions calculation as usual the extra data we are going to find is SSR okay this is going to be the same now I am going to find SSR extra and the error is going to be SST minus SSC minus SSR okay now after those things are found we have to go for the table so as I said for one way ANOVA the code is CET College of Engineering and Technology. Now for two-way ANOVA, we have to remember the code CRET, C-R-E-T. So between columns, SSC, between rows, SSR, residual, SSE, that is error, and total, SST. So for column, degree of freedom is C minus 1. For row, degree of freedom is R minus 1. For the residue or the error, it is going to be column minus 1 into R minus 1. Now, I am going to analyze in two way. So, I say FC is for column, FR is for row. So, now MSE is fixed. Okay, you cannot leave this. When I want to find FC, compare MSE with MSE. If I want to find row, compare MSR with MSE. As usual, whichever is bigger, it comes to numerator and smaller data will go to denominator. Now the corresponding degree of freedom B1, B2 I use for FC. Similarly when I go for FR I should not say the same B1, V2. It should be little awkward. So I use V1 dash, V2 dash. That's it guys. Now as usual these things. Whichever it is bigger we are going to take. Those things you know very well. So conclusion as usual we have to check the table value and calculated value and we are going to accept as it is. Let's go into the problem. See this problem, workers are given, machines are given. So now we should be very careful with workers and machines. Let us see what they are asking. Test whether the mean productivity is same for different machine type. So I have four machines here i want to check the productivity of the four machines whether they are same or not the second question is test whether the five men are same with mean productivity now many students do this error in the exams when i tell to calculate the row and column there are some students what they will do they will count one two three four and five this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is not a column. It represents the worker number count. Similarly, this A, B, C, D represents the machine. So now you have to neglect this A, B, C, D, that row and column and you have to calculate 1, 2, 3, 4. I have 4 columns. Similarly, I have to find number of rows 1 2 3 4 5 so i have 5 rows in this problem so let us go into the problem as i said it is two digit number i don't want to subtract or i don't want to divide make the problem complicated use your scientific calculator 
enjoy your results let's go as usual first we start with number of columns 4 and rows 5 what is null hypothesis there is no significant difference between column means as well as row means alternate it is going to opposite there is a difference alpha nothing is given i choose as 5 percent for calculations now in this problem as i said earlier you can do directly but for the simplification purpose uh, for the general audience who don't use calculators in examination this trick is useful for them so since all my data given in the question is going to be almost 40 plus or minus so i am subtracting with 40 okay but as i said it is not compulsory you can do the problem directly okay the only drawback is the calculation going to big but our god calculator is there to save us okay let's go now since we have five rows this is the extra thing we are going to do in this two-way ANOVA I am going to mention the rows as y1, y2, y3, y4, y5 and the columns a, b, c, d as x1, x2, x3, x4 now I am going to subtract the data with 40 for the simplification now it is going to become a single digit number and I will fill the data similarly square it and then add all the column sum and row sum so now the grand total is going to be t it is 20 so all the rows and columns are filled 5 into 4 so the number of elements is going to be 20 so let us solve the problem n is 20 correction factor t square by n is 20 square by 20 it is 20 it's total sum of square you go to the table calculated values can be copied from there so it is going to be 574 the next between column sum so as i said for column i use the notation c1 c2 c3 etc here all the columns will have same data so it is going to be 5 similarly we are going to find row the row sum is going to be summation y1 okay from the table you can take it again all the rows are same it is going to be 4 and finally error is going to be yes yes e as i said total is the bigger one minus row and minus column so i can find this value so once i find the value i'll go for the ANOVA table so the code for the ANOVA table in two way is CRET C R E T between columns between rows residual that is error and my total so whatever we found from the previous slides just copy down and we have four columns so C minus 1 is 3 we have five rows R minus 1 is 4 and C minus 1 into R minus 1 is 12 and number of elements capital N is 20 so N minus 1 is going to be 19 now all datas are given to us as I said in two way we should be careful I have to compare for rows MSC with MSE and similarly for column I have to compare MSR with MSE this is what I have to do now there is a typo forgive me it's msc so now see this fc value msc is bigger than mse so degree of freedom v1 is 3 v2 is 12 that's what we write here similarly for the row here msr is 40 mse is 6 so msr by mse so i'm taking the new degree of freedom v1 dash it is going to be 4 and v2 dash it is going to be 12 now you can go to the table and you can find the values of fc and fr and you can go to the table and you can find the corresponding table values now you see i have to give the conclusion first i am going to give the conclusion for columns fc is 18 degree of freedom as usual we know and f alpha value is 3.49 so my column value is going to be 18.393 and it is going to be greater than alpha value that is 3.49 so i say it as h01 columns for row i will say it as h02 
so it is rejected similarly when we go for columns sorry when we go for rows similarly when we go for rows we write the calculated value degree of freedom and table value my f for is 6.576 that is greater than my f alpha that is going to be 3.26 so here also i am going to reject f for is greater than f alpha so h not 2 is rejected hope you understand the problem guys